Darren Leslie here, back with my Luke Cage recaps of um, the entire first season, and I just finished episode 11, and that was awesome. This is my favorite episode since season, um, episode 6 and episode 11 are, are my favorite of the series. Um, this one had it all, once again, suspense, great character moments, great action, um, and a great ending, uh, just and some great heroics from Luke as well. Uh, this is just one of, this is, was a fantastic episode. Diamondback has finally, you know, Diamondback has kind of redeemed himself in my eyes as a villain. Um, finally, he, he's, he was just a little over the top with, with the last, like, four episodes. He's just very, very over the top. But in this one, I really understood what he, where he's coming from, explaining his origin, explaining his hate for Cage. You know, I, I understood where he, he, where he was coming from, and man, um, this guy was just act, and this guy, the actor, was just acting the shit out of this. So yeah, um, great performance. You know, he really he turned me around on uh, Diamondback as a character. So uh, I'm going forward. I'm a little bit more excited to see him on the screen. We also got to see Diamondback and Shades butting heads. I mean, Shades obviously. On Cottonmouth side and Diamondback side, Shade probably should have been the brains of the operation uh, in both of those camps because, you know, he knows, he plays it safe, he plays it cautious, but, you know, you should. You probably should when you're dealing with these types of situations. You probably, it probably would be a good idea to play it cautious. So, um, you, you, seeing them, seeing those two characters butt heads, you don't really know where it's going to go. Also got to see Claire stepping up into the action. Claire, like, threw a guy down some stairs. Which, that was great. She also fought Shade. Um, Shades. Uh, her and um, Misty Knight had a little team up. They had some banter there. That was pretty fun. Um, and also, um, the secretary from Daredevil Season 2 returned. And, you know, he's you know he doesn't trust um, my, uh, Maria either. And, um, yeah, and I, I like the, the connective tissue. The connective tissue of all of these Netflix shows are incredible. They're, they're, I mean, no pun intended, but they are Marvel to see because I like how they bring all of their B characters back. They don't have to just be the big superheroes. You have this world, you have this tapestry that you can you can um, take from, that you can uh, exploit and you can show. So what? Why no? Why not do it? And they have they do a great job of just bringing the, in these characters organically, where it would make sense that they would pop up. So yeah, I, I like how they're bringing certain characters back into the into the fold. Overall, this was a fantastic episode once again. Um, this is my say, my favorite episode so far. We're moving into the last into the final two episodes, and um, yeah, I'm, I'm really excited how this is all going to wrap up. I want Cage to get um, Diamond back because he needs to be taken down. So, um, yeah, what did you guys think of this episode? Did you like it? Did you hate it? Please let me know in the comment sections below. Also, if you like hearing me talk about movies, please hit that subscribe button. Come join the conversation. I'd be glad to have you. And also, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. With all that being said, I'm Darren Leslie. I hope you enjoyed this review, and I'll catch you guys next time.